So we are officially only one week, not even, less than one week away from the release of Peace and Turmoil. I mentioned it to you all before that I would be doing a pre-order giveaway along with a few other giveaways. And so this is the opportunity to enter the pre-order giveaway. If you have pre-ordered the book or you're going to be pre-ordering the book, all you have to do is comment in the comment section down below, hashtag peace and turmoil. And that way I know that you've pre-ordered the book and then what I'm going to do is the week of the release, I will have on the communities tab, I will announce who the winner is. I'll do a screenshot of that person's comment and then I can get in touch with that person that way. Don't forget then to keep your confirmation email. That is how I'm going to confirm that you did pre-order the book. And then once we've confirmed that, I can go ahead and send you your prize. Besides that, there is also the social media giveaway going on on both Instagram and Twitter. I will announce a giveaway from both of those social media platforms. So all you have to do to enter with those is have any kind of post about Peace and Turmoil and include that same hashtag I mentioned before, hashtag Peace and Turmoil. On top of all of that, there is also another chance to win via my channel. On Friday, I'm going to be posting the magic trailer for Peace and Turmoil. So for those of you that don't know, I already have a book trailer out for this book, but on Friday, I have an additional trailer coming out. This one is centered around the magic system in the book. It's a little abstract, it's a little different, but I had a lot of fun with it. I wrote the music, I composed the music that is going to be in that trailer, and I think it's gonna be very different, but I think it's kind of cool. To enter that giveaway though, once again, you just have to comment on the video, hashtag peace and turmoil. So to recap, you can enter in this video by commenting hashtag peace and turmoil. That is the pre-order giveaway. Then you have hashtag peace and turmoil on Friday when the magic trailer goes up. And then we have Instagram and Twitter sharing that same hashtag and some kind of post relating to the book. So you have four different chances to win. Like I said, I'll be announcing the giveaway winners throughout the entire week. Prizes are going to vary. Obviously, for those of you who have pre-ordered the book, you don't want a copy of the book. So if you've pre-ordered the book, I'll have a few different options of what you can win. And that is going to be depending on what you want. So I will have a little bit of merchandise that you can get, or if you just want a different book, I'll just buy you a different book. Speaking of merchandise, I mentioned to you all that I wanted to do a customizable book box. So a lot of times there are monthly subscription boxes that you can order and subscribe to, and then every month you get a new release with some goodies. And I wanted to do something kind of like that, but it would be a one-time purchase, and you could sort of customize what you wanted in the box, because a lot of times with those book boxes, as cool as the items are, sometimes they're just not things that you really want. And I wanna show you the merchandise first because I have the candles and then I have the bookmark and I have three of the four different art prints that are going to be available. The bookmark that was made by Jay from Captured in Words, a lot of you have seen this before, but it has the cover art from the book with this pretty purple ribbon to match. So this is pretty simple, but I absolutely love it. It looks super cool in person and the colors are just so, so vivid. The way the candles are going to work is that we have four main character candles. And for the most part, those are going to be the candles that you choose from. There will be some box options that allow you to get all of the merchandise. And if that's what you want, then on top of these four, you also have four side character candles. Those are for people that really love candles or who really, really want to get a bunch of merchandise, but the main character candles are the ones I'm gonna show you right now. All of these candles are made by the amazing Hillary from Cauldron Candle Company. I talk about her all the time because she's awesome and she lets me collaborate with her pretty often. <laughs> Actually, it's really cool. She's let me help make stuff for Sanderson Books and Witcher and Full Metal Alchemist. She has a Full Metal Alchemist candle now, so I feel incredibly honored and also like I lucked out a lot to have such an amazing friend, but also somebody who's willing to make candles for my book. And we're gonna start off with the Guinevere candle. This is what the label looks like, it's super pretty. And then the color of the candle is this really kind of vibrant pink shade. You guys always seem to get a kick out of me smelling Ugh, smelling the candles on camera and trying to describe them, but I think I can actually describe these pretty well because I had the sense in mind before I even went to help her make them. So with this one, this one is the most floral of the scents. If you like floral scents, you will like this one. If you like a hint, a hint 
of a kind of perfume feminine smell also, this is the candle you're gonna wanna get. Next candle going along with our other female-centered candle would be for the character Zodia. So this is what the label looks like for this one. Honestly, I told her that I sort of wanted this one to look like a smoothie, <laughs> and I think she, uh, she did a great job getting uh, the label to look like that. And this one, it says on the label, it's sea salt and lotus blossom, and that's exactly what it smells like. <sighs> it smells like something tropical without being fruity. And I, I don't know if that even makes sense to people. Because normally you think tropical and you think coconut or citrus or things like that. And it's not really fruity, but it is tropical. And it makes you think of the beach. And my husband said it makes him think of blue skies and sand between his toes. Next up, we have a very, very different scent from those two. That would be for the Roland Candle, which once again, the label for this is just so stunning. I love the blue shades that she got on this one. And this one, hmm, okay, so this one, <laughs> sorry, this is a really weird noise. This one has clean and sort of sweet. So the scents, I'll just let you know, the scents that we use specifically for this one are Ocean Mist, that's the name of the scent that we put in it. So Ocean Mist and then Tobacco Caramel. And that seems probably like a kind of weird combination, but it smells so, so good. The way I wanted this one to smell was uh, obviously a little bit masculine because it's for a male character, but I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to be too mature, but I wanted it to have a hint of a more mature scent. And honestly, it's, it's like, it's the perfect in between. It's not really youthful and it's not super, uh, dignified if you will it's kind of right in the middle and it's it's just like that little hint of the the caramel makes it kind of sweet but also clean and for those of you that have the mistborn candles that she made the ocean mist scent was in every single one of those candles so if you liked any of the mistborn candles you got you will like this roll in candle and then the last of the main character candles that you have the selection to choose from would be the dietrich candle a lot of you have seen dietrich because you have seen the artwork that I have done of him, as well as the artwork that you can actually choose from as an art print for the box. And he is the first character you're introduced to in the story. He lives in a desert kingdom, and I really wanted sandalwood to be a part of the scent. So there is sandalwood in this, as well as, technically the scent is called stainless steel, but it doesn't smell like appliances. The stainless steel has this very, very clean, crisp smell. I wouldn't say clean as in really soapy, and I wouldn't say clean as in I just used pledge all over my wood furniture. It's not that kind of clean. It just smells fresh and and kind of masculine. And so, oh, it smells so good. So it's clean with a hint of earthy. If you like those kind of earthy smells and you also like really clean smells, this would be the one I think you would want. Those are the candles that you can choose from. They all smell amazing. Literally, if you're thinking, I don't know which one to choose from, I'll just get the blue one. Or you just pick a color or you pick one because you liked the way the label looked, you're, you're gonna like it. They all smell so amazing. And besides those, like I said, if you are really interested in getting all of the merchandise or if you want to get a box with just all of the candles, that is an option. If you do that, you'll get the side character candles as well, and those also smell ridiculously good. <sighs> they all smell really good. But if you are getting one of the basic boxes, then you will choose from those four. And the reason that you don't, you don't get to choose from the side character ones as well is just because it's really difficult to gauge inventory and interest in eight different possible candles, especially for characters that are side characters that you might not even care about really. So this way you are choosing from the main characters and then for those who have the extra interest for the other candles, there will be an option to get those too. Besides the candles, the other bit of merchandise that you get to choose from would be the art prints. A lot of you have probably already seen these art prints because I posted them on my communities tab and the ones that you get to choose from are of the characters Guinevere, Dietrich, and then currently, I don't have it up yet because it's not quite done yet, but there will be the Zodia option as well. I can't wait for all of you to get to see her. She is going to be stunning. I have seen the artist that I commissioned. She sends updates and she sent me the initial sketch and it looks amazing. The other art print was one that is so 
freaking cool. Oh my gosh. So my monster artist that I commissioned to do all the monster artwork in my book, her name on Instagram is Miss Madsy. I'll have the other artists linked also. So Mad, uh, Miss Madsy, or Maddie is her name. Maddie, I contacted and I said, hey, I'm going to be doing this book box thing and I was wondering, could you do a colored print for the box of one of the pieces from the book? So I told her I want the dragon. The dragon's name is Sira. Those who have read the book, pretty much everybody likes Sira. And then on top of it, Maddie made the coolest, coolest art print for this dragon. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that there were too many ways to make dragons cooler because dragons are already really cool and there's amazing, amazing artwork of dragons out there. But what the heck? Maddie made the coolest dragon art print. So those will be the four options. Sira, the dragon, Dietrich, Guinevere, and then we have the one Zodia that I can't show you yet just because I don't have it. I don't have it yet, but that'll be the other option too. For those of you who have already pre-ordered the book, I am also going to have the box option where you can get merchandise without getting the book. So if you just want goodies, you can get that as well. I'm going to have all the box options up very, very soon. None of them are available for purchase just yet, but as soon as they are, I will notify you on the communities tab. So be checking that. I'll also be notifying you on my Instagram at EB Novels and my Twitter page as well. Same handle of EB Novels. The last thing I'll say about the book box is that the book box itself is super cool. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And with all of that said, I'm going to be doing a release day Q&A. So on Monday the 18th, I'm gonna have a video uploaded answering any of your guys' questions. It can be about the book, it can be about the writing process, it can be about the merchandise, it can be about Luna, my puppy. Whatever you'd like, you can ask questions. I will try to get to as many of them as I can, but you can ask those in the comment section down below. I'll be answering those on Monday. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all later. Bye.